Why'd you come out today? Oh, love the cats. Just had to. Just, just uh, tell him how much we love him and all the guys. <laughs> it amazing. She started out talking about Kentucky and then swerved into Daryl. Just uh -huh. how much yeah, we love Daryl. Uh -huh. It was in E-Town, wasn't it? It was in E-Town, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Red and Blue Review. Gupper and the guys back to talk a little Wildcats and Cardinals. All kinds of topics to cover. Of course, now Daryl's still basking in the glow of a national championship, oh, yeah. but the cloud looming on the horizon is Kentucky football. Yes, you do have to go through a football season before you get back <laughs> to basketball, and we're going to talk about that a lot today. Daryl's going to start, though, with a take on Planet Red. Planet Red, absolutely. God love them. The Cardinals were feeling so good because they knocked off Kentucky in baseball in a midweek game, and they go and get hammered at Western Kentucky. If we had time, <laughs> Gary Gupta would sing the WKU fight song for us. But oh, I'll probably, make time. We'll Stand win. up and cheer. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> Probably a good time to go to Howie Lindsay of the Cardinalsports.com fame with a take on blue. You got it. And it, real quick on that stand up and cheer. Yeah. We heard that eight times. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of hearing the fight song, even though I heard it all growing up. But yeah, uh, playing at blue, I, I tell you, they're going to milk this basketball thing for as long as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. It's going to be November, middle of the SEC football season, and we're going to be still <laughs> talking about basketball. Absolutely. They're never giving it up. In fact, we might even squeeze it into this episode of The Lightning Round. The lightning round on the Red and Blue Review is brought to you by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, reminding you that one text or call could absolutely wreck it all. Who's hot for the University of Kentucky? The Cats hope will be an improved football team over what they saw last year. That bounce that the Cats got after losing, or excuse me, ending last season by stopping that long losing streak to Tennessee, put a little spring in their step as they went to spring football practice. Feel a lot better, uh, you know, especially for the because of the improvement that you saw from day one to, to 15. And again, I said this yesterday, uh, yesterday. There should have been improvement. A lot of young guys that we were working. It's not just a lot of young guys. It's every position you look at, skill position players, the the playmakers that we talked about on last week's show. They're all young. They're all sophomores and redshirt freshmen, and, and and the freshmen coming in are even guaranteed a shot at playing time. And so there better have been improvement from day one to day 15, or we'd be in deep, deep trouble heading into the, to next fall. The problem is they're young. You don't know how they'll handle the move up, the the step up in responsibility. You know, I'm okay as a backup linebacker to Danny Trevathan. Well, Danny Trevathan's gone now. I'm I'm the guy. Mm -hmm. That's a huge step up. But spring practice. Thank goodness for that, that it, you get it to advance, now you head into summer workouts, and hopefully you continue. Darrell, uh, Joker obviously put a smiley face sure on did. spring practice. Give me your read of it. W will Kentucky may make a move forward this year? What, what do you sense this many months out from the kickoff? It's, it, with young people, you don't know. They could yeah. really surprise you, and wow, they won more games than you thought. They could go the opposite direction, and you're looking at two wins if you're yeah. not careful. And no matter how good you are, you still have to play in the SEC. Yeah. And it just added two more really good teams. So your, your, <laughs> your challenge is even harder than it used to be. So you could be much improved and not even know it on, on the one law side. So basketball practice starts. <laughs> uh, October. New rule, you get to practice with your players during the summer. So actually it starts in June. It never <laughs> ends. <laughs> one side at the University of Louisville is the softball team now. They're on the verge of having the best record for the regular season in school history. And Sandy Pearsall says this squad is poised for a strong finish. And there's no question this team has a different mentality from the from the very beginning of the season. And, you know, I, they've done a lot of great things and they've gained a lot of confidence and this has helped them. And there's no question this team doesn't want to just end it at a regional. and They want to go to a super regional. I think this is going to be the team that breaks through for Louisville. They've had some good teams in the past with good pitchers. This team has got three good pitchers. They've got a whole lot of good hitters. I think they're going to make that super regional run this year and be the next Louisville team that makes a national splash. I think they'll go to Super Regional. I think this could be the team that makes a College World Series. What's not hot at the University of Kentucky for most of his career has been Tate Nellums. The junior out of Memphis has always been a good football player, but Joker says what makes him better now is he's now becoming a good leader. Hey, Tate Nellums has become the leader that we need him to be. Uh, he's becoming the guy that we can trust off the field. Okay, who take care of his business in the classroom and those things. And those things, those things matter. People don't understand. Those things matter. Uh, and, and Tay's getting it now. now. They don't always do it on our, as fast as we want them. And this is Tay's last year, but he's getting it. Uh, which gives him a chance to lead. Because if, if a leader's not doing what he's supposed to do, nobody's going to follow you. 
Okay, they won't follow you. Now they're starting to follow him um, because he's doing what he's supposed to off the field. Uh, he's getting to places on time and all those things. Therefore, he's able to lead. And when he talks now, people listen to him. And it's also helping his play. He's playing a lot better than he's ever played around here. He's always been a good player. Now we think he can be a great player uh, with the way he's leading. <laughs> A lot of interesting points in that bite to me from Joker. One is, and coaches know this frustration, they don't grow up as fast as you hope they would. That's a, that's a real challenge. You have to, everybody has their own pace. But the other side of this, you, you look at where Martavius Nellums is going to end his career. And he's number one. He's in number city. one, absolutely. He changed numbers this year for senior year. He, whether he makes the NFL or not, University of Kentucky football is the best thing that ever happened to this kid. Mm -hmm. And it's that way with a lot of the kids who come on scholarship. Don't know a whole lot about his home life before he got there, but he has grown up from mm -hmm. 18 to 21, 22 when he leaves, grown up so much and will be a better prepared for life, better prepared for whatever is ahead, if it's football or not, all because he came to UK. And we talked to him about Marcus Caffey, the running back who switched to DB. Marcus Caffey is going to be a starter this fall in mm -hmm. DB, and Joker said it's because Tate Nellums took care of him, took him under his wing and showed him how to do it. You know, guys, we talk a lot about uh, hearing from coaches talking about the importance of leadership, and we sometimes just kind of throw that away yeah. as, a, as a coach talking point. But I think we saw this year with the basketball, both basketball teams, how vital it is to have leadership among the players, not yep. just the coaches. You oh, have yeah. to have it between the players because mm -hmm. coaches can only say so much. And if you can't do it, the coach is not always there. So it's the locker room. It's at the dorm. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to take charge of the team. Well, who's not hot at the University of Louisville for now is one of their iconic players from the past, Wiley Brown. He almost was added to the Rick Pitino coaching staff, finished second for a coaching spot that he may one day eventually fill. Really, the final two candidates were, were Kareem and Wiley Brown, and uh, they were the final two guys that I got down to. And um, uh, I went with Kareem because he, uh, he has a little bit more experience recruiting uh, than Wiley uh, had, but Wiley really, really impressed me with the job he's done at the school he's at, and uh, uh, he was certainly high on my list. It was difficult for me to put Wiley Brown as who's not because he's not at all. I mean, he's, he's been uh, doing a fantastic job. The only reason I put him in this category was if I'm second in line for a job that I didn't get, I don't know if I want to. I, I want to know about it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just you know, pat me on the back, say good interview, that kind of thing. But I, I tell you, he is going to be a coach at a Division One level, uh, and he's, you know, I, I think he really impressed Rick Pitino during that interview. So uh, next year, when Louisville has a whole new staff again, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see Wiley Brown as part of that coaching staff. Howie, that's interesting. Uh, Rick very seldom says stuff without a reason. What would mm -hmm. be his reason for talking about a second place finisher? You know, I think part of it was to encourage Wiley okay. and to, to say that, uh, you know, I interviewed a bunch of different candidates. Mm -hmm. I heard from a lot of different candidates, the candidates, and of these 50 or so that applied, you know, I had these two that it really came down to. I think the other side of that is that there are Louisville fans who are just aching to have Louisville guys on gotcha. that coaching staff. And yeah. uh, Andre McGee is on the coaching staff now. I, I think, you know, there are a lot of folks who are pulling for Wiley. And so he was very, very close. The buzz at the University of Kentucky is Maxwell Smith will be the number one quarterback when fall practice starts, but there's a lot of contenders for that throne as well. Of course, Morgan Newton will be back from injury, and a newcomer will be added to the mix, the freshman Patrick Tolles, and Randy says this freshman of Highlands will get a chance to fight for that number one quarterback spot. Patrick's going to have an opportunity. You know, it's, uh, it will be very nice to get Morgan back because I, I know Morgan's played in big games and, and we've won big games with him at quarterback. Um, you know, Max is coming. He's, he's coming along. Really pleased with what Jacob Russell does. You know, he, he has his niche, thinks he does well, thinks uh, he doesn't do as well. But uh, Patrick's going to get his chance. And, and it doesn't matter whether you're a freshman, senior, been here two years or not, the best player is going to play. And, and if he proves to be the best player, then he'll play. Right, Yoko went out of his way to say any freshman coming in is automatically third team so they can get reps so the staff can take a look at them in the fall. Tolls has been all over Twitter. I can't wait for June to get here so he, he will arrive early as he is allowed to get there and start working out. He's got a the challenge for him, of course, learning that playbook and learning the plays and, and all the intangibles that come with playing a D1 level defenses who can confuse you beyond, you know, you think you've got it under control, wait till they move on you at the last second and then you're getting killed because you can't recognize the defense. That's going to be a big challenge. But the pure ability, he's going to get, he's going to get a shot. So we'll see. It's up to the other guys who are already in camp 
to make sure they keep advancing and keep this kid at bay. With credit to Howard Schnellenberger, the Louisville basketball team is on a collision course with more injuries. <laughs> the latest being George Mason transfer Luke Hancock, who will spend part of the summer rehabbing from a shoulder operation. You, you guys may know that Luke Hancock's going to have to have surgery. Um, we generally don't comment on, on summer injuries. We have a lot of them. Um, but I will comment on this one. The reason we don't comment on it, the only time I will comment on it is when somebody will not be back for the start of school. Luke will be 100% by, by mid-August by the start of school. So the, the only reason I'm commenting on it is I know one of you guys are going to ask me the question. I don't want to be rude in answering it. <laughs> I would have been that guy asking the question. Here, here's a Luke Hancock. We don't have a whole lot of B-roll on him because, of course, he hasn't played yet. But this is him throwing the alley-oop pass uh, to a teammate for a nice little alley-oop. And I've heard good stories about his passing in practice, that he's very good with the ball, uh, that, he, that he finds open teammates quite a bit. Uh, and he is surprisingly athletic. I, I believe that uh, there's a YouTube account dedicated to Luke Hancock called Surprisingly Athletic. <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we missing the, the lead here in the fact that, bearing the lead in the fact that we've got another Louisville basketball player <laughs> yes. heard? I mean, uh, it, it's just so frustrating for Louisville fans, and it's got to be mm -hmm. frustrating for Rick Pitino. Uh, in this case, it was a pickup game. He apparently hyperextended his shoulder yeah. or something like that. And you just got to think, Seriously, another injury? <laughs> well, the other thing was it welcomes him to Louisville basketball. Yeah. Now he's officially, he's officially a part in. of the team. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, I want to tell you about something coming up uh, in the just very near future that you may want to get involved in to help out the folks at Easter Seals. They're having a golf tournament. It's going to be at uh, Wildwood Country Club. $600 a foursome. It's called the annual Joe B. and Denny Celebrity Golf Scramble. Of course, Joe B. and Denny coaches at Kentucky and Louisville, red and blue. That's why we're kind of helping promote this. If you would like to get involved, uh, foursome is 300 bucks. The tournament is May 15th at 11. And uh, you can call 502-584-9781 to get your team involved. And again, a foursome is 600 bucks to get involved. You can go to EasterSealsLouisville.com. Coming back, we'll talk to a man who is living the dream in addition to this guy who makes dreams come true for everybody <laughs> on Planet Blue. Daryl Bird and his book, Celebrate. Appreciate it, sir. Yeah, Celebrate is out. We've, we've got to count 148 different cities across the Commonwealth, which makes it two to 300 different outlets. But it is on shelves everywhere. Or you can actually go to our website if you prefer to order it and have it sent to your home. It's magazine.catspaws.com. 136 pages, getting a lot of compliments on the photos. We've got hundreds and hundreds of photos, all the way from madness through the, the finale in New Orleans. Have you driven a Ford lately? Well, check out Allstate Ford's pre-owned inventory at AllstateTrucks.com. Large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Also, a nice selection of Ford certified pre-owned vehicles. Allstate Ford, on the Watterson at Poplar Level Road. It's Chevy Truck Month, and now is the time to get your new truck. Bachman has more Chevy trucks than any other dealer, all at fantastic prices. You'll get every Chevy incentive plus exclusive Bachman discounts during Chevy Truck Month. Tremendous selection of Silverados and every dependable Chevy truck. Plus, you save more during Chevy Truck Month with exclusive Bachman discounts. All Chevrolets are created equal. Bachman makes the difference. Underage drinking can permanently affect your memory and speech abilities. 10% of suicides involve underage drinking. 36% of homicides involve underage drinking. 30% of drownings involve underage drinking. Almost half of underage drinkers become addicted. Don't throw your life away. Today? Oh I'm gonna God. text her. I'm gonna text Allison. Hey, hold up, Matt's calling me. Matt's calling me. Hey, we got. Hey, we got the food, and we're on our way right now. <laughs> 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 hey, who's coming, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Join the.
the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. When you service a vehicle at any Sam Swope dealership, you automatically become a Service VIP Rewards member. You get member pricing on parts and service, lost key return, and emergency roadside assistance. Plus, you can earn points that qualify you for discounts on your next vehicle purchase up to $2,500. The best part is becoming a member is free. Become a member today at any Sam Swope dealership. Nobody walks away because everybody saves. Have you driven a Ford lately? Well, check out Allstate Ford's pre-owned inventory at AllstateTrucks.com. Large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Also, a nice selection of Ford certified pre-owned vehicles. Allstate Ford, on the Watterson at Poplar Level Road. Well, we're real excited to uh, have our uh, 37th different staff here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and no matter how many different staffs they have, we're going to track them down, right guys? Absolutely. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to talk about basketball coaches and football players in our Game Time Storylines. <laughs> game Time Storyline number one for Kentucky involves the football program. Uh, the Kentucky linebackers will be an untested but a very protective group this year because in front of those guys are some pretty good defensive anchors. We got two anchors inside that is as good as anybody that we will we'll face and as good as anybody we've had here, uh, those two guys, which should give our linebackers a chance to, to, to uh, uh, run around and make plays. Defensive tackle is so hard to recruit, and if you're playing in the SEC, you better have good defensive tackles. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cobble from right here in Louisville, Dante Rump, two very fine specimens, two very, very <laughs> large gentlemen, very strong. And if those guys can play as well as Joker thinks they can, then that takes a ton of pressure off your linebacking core, which is going to be very new this year. If they can hold their gaps and, and hold it all, then the linebackers are the ones who will get all the tackles. Mm -hmm. And dumb media people like us will be writing about, wow, look at all the tackles these linebackers. Great, great linebacker play. Yeah, because the inside is being stuffed by those D tackles. Don't forget them. You know, if you talk to people who really know football, and I don't know that I would count myself, or certainly in that group, when they talk about why the SEC dominates the national championship yep. game, they all say it's because they've got the best defensive tackles in college football. It is the hardest position to recruit because mm -hmm. there aren't very many of them big enough and fast enough. And if they're really, really good, they're going to Alabama, LSU, <laughs> and those guys yeah. are going to get them. So you're just scrapping, trying to find and hope and project and make this guy will turn out to be mm -hmm. a great one. Hard to find. New Louisville basketball coach Kareem Richardson is living the dream. He's always wanted to work for Rick Pitino. Had a shot at it a couple of years ago. Finally getting his shot now. He's, he's terrific at all, all facets of the game, and that's what I was looking for. Um, as you all know, Richard did the, the majority, the bulk of the scouting, and uh, Kareem did a lot of it at Drake. And uh, he's a very good X and O guy. He's a very hardworking recruiter, an outstanding person. And he's very personable. I, I think, you know, we all found him to be uh, engaging and he was, he was telling stories and, and talking about his, his career as an uh, as a assistant coach so far and how he's moved up through the ranks. And I, I think he's got a bright future ahead of him. Mm -hmm. This guy's really, really sharp. He can do the X and O's and he can recruit. But I, I understand that what a lot of coaches are looking for now, and I'm assuming Rick would be counted in that group, a little less on the X's and O's and a lot more on the recruiting. Is that kind of the sense you get here? Yeah, typically you want just recruiter, recruiter, recruiter. Yeah. But in, in the case where you lost Richard Pitino as, mm -hmm. you, as your scout guy, yeah. you had to bring in somebody with some X and O's. All right, the other topic uh, of discussion on the Kentucky side is we mentioned the fact that if you're going to have an SEC caliber football team, you need good defensive tackles and good offensive tight ends. And Joker says this year, they got them both. You know, you haven't heard a lot about Tyler Robinson because he's kind of one of those guys that just rolls up his sleeves and goes to work and, you know, doesn't say a lot. So, uh, not real flashy. He's a guy that likes to get his nose bloodied and bloody people's nose. Uh, and, uh, and he catches the football. Okay. And, and that's what he did today. He made some big plays for us. Um, it's really one real tough catch that it's stone a little bit behind him, but he goes up and, and, and uh, catches the back end of it and makes a big play for us. So um, I'm really pleased with our tight end. Tight end play is going to be really good this year, and that's a good thing because the, the wide receiver core outside of LaRod King is going to be very, very young, pretty fast and, and a lot of potential there, but, but very young, so they've got to have good tight end play. Tyler Robinson, as Joker was saying, is huge. I mean, he can line up and, and help your run game every single down, but he also has the ability to go make the catch 
and make people miss in the open field. So he's a very unique talent. And they've got three or four tight ends who can make huge plays like this. And it's going to be critical because I'm thinking, think New England. New England had wide receiver, eh, but look what yep. Gronkowski did. Mm -hmm. That type of situation may be what UK is looking at as the young receivers try to develop. They've got Tyler Robinson and other tight ends to lean on in the meantime. One other uh, guy living a dream now is Doug Davenport. He is the son of Scotty Davenport, who coached Bellman to the national championship. And Doug is one of those guys that always wanted to coach in Louisville, and he finally got the chance. But first, he had to stop the moving trucks that were heading to North Carolina. Some of you may know Doug Davenport, uh, Scotty's son. It was kind of an interesting thing happened there as well. He was the video guy for two years at Xavier. And Scotty texted me and said, look, if you've got a video position open, um, keep Doug in mind. I, I've known Doug for a number of years. And um, all of a sudden, I, I called Doug. And he was at Winthrop as the ops guy. And just was hired four days prior to that. And called Scotty back. I said, Scotty, your son's at Winthrop. And he said, oh, he'll come back, coach. And I said, Doug, where, did you move in already? He said, no, it's on its way. And he said, I've got to stop the truck. And I think that for me, at 24 years old, I couldn't have a better opportunity anywhere in coaching. And I really do believe that. I, mean, I know it would be better, you know, people might, might want to get on the road and recruit, get on the floor. But to work under Coach Patino, I just, I think the, the experience is invaluable. How about that? He gets a call from Rick Patino and says, you know, stop that moving truck. Go get it and, and bring it back. And I guess they just turned the moving truck around and, and sent it back to Louisville. Yeah. Amazing. And this kid's got a really bright future. I mean, he's only 24 years old. He's working for Rick Patino in, in, a, uh, in a pretty crucial role. Those guys move on to be assistant coaches really quickly. You know, uh, that sounds like maybe a throwaway position, the video coordinator. But right now, where college basketball is, especially with a guy like Rick Patino, that oh, is yeah. such a crucial position. Mm -hmm position because you've got such a short turnaround a lot of times to scout a team. A guy that knows how to do the scouting on video, that's a real easy transition to, to coaching on the court. Well, and two, you know, anybody who hires him knows that they can't possibly work him as hard as Rick Patino did. <laughs> so he's not going to complain about anything. So yeah, that's big. When we come back, we'll tell you why there's a possibility that Louisville's one-man recruiting class could be reduced to zero. As we head to the break, though, Howie's going to tell us about Cardinalsports.com. Absolutely. The best place to get all your Louisville coverage uh, baseball, basketball, football, recruiting. Uh, had a couple of football recruiting commitments this week. Check out cardinalsports.com. We've got video of those guys. We've got interviews with those guys. We've got video from baseball. You're going to want to check it all out at cardinalsports.com. Have you driven a Ford lately? Well, check out Allstate Ford's pre-owned inventory at AllstateTrucks.com. Large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Also, a nice selection of Ford certified pre-owned vehicles. Allstate Ford, on the Waterson at Poplar Level Road. It's Chevy Truck Month, and now is the time to get your new truck. Bachman has more Chevy trucks than any other dealer, all at fantastic prices. You'll get every Chevy incentive plus exclusive Bachman discounts during Chevy Truck Month. Tremendous selection of Silverados and every dependable Chevy truck. Plus, you save more during Chevy Truck Month with exclusive Bachman discounts. All Chevrolets are created equal. Bachman, Bachman makes the difference. Chevrolet. Underage drinking can permanently affect your memory and speech abilities. 10% of suicides involve underage drinking. 36% of homicides involve underage drinking. 30% of drownings involve underage drinking. Almost half of underage drinkers become addicted. Don't throw your life away.
Join the club at Sam Swope Auto Group. When you service a vehicle at any Sam Swope dealership, you automatically become a Service VIP Rewards member. You get member pricing on parts and service, lost key return, and emergency roadside assistance. Plus, you can earn points that qualify you for discounts on your next vehicle purchase up to $2,500. The best part is becoming a member is free. Become a member today at any Sam Swope dealership. Nobody walks away because everybody saves. Have you driven a Ford lately? Well, check out Allstate Ford's pre-owned inventory at AllstateTrucks.com. Large selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Also, a nice selection of Ford certified pre-owned vehicles. Allstate Ford, on the Waterson at Poplar Level Road. What needs fixing on the red and blue news? Brought to you by Doug Jones Home Improvements. One thing Kentucky quarterback Max Smith has to fix over the summer is his lack of patience. Uh, I thought Max had really good command of the football. Um, the thing he can't do is he can't force force plays. One, one, once we had a chance to, we're going in and had a chance to, to uh, uh, you know, it's third and long, get that, but lay it off. I mean, don't try to force anything. Let's kick a field goal and 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 uh, get some something positive out of it. Um, he tried to force one and got picked. You said you didn't play well. You being a little tough on yourself? Uh, no, I really don't think I played too well. Um, do two picks and that's not good. So that's kind of how I look at it for real. What do you think the coaches will say about how you played? I didn't play well, uh, especially Coach Sanders. <laughs> not looking forward to watching him just. Randy Sanders had a lot of fun with the little meeting he was going to have with Max. So it's the hardest lesson a young quarterback has to learn at this level throw the ball into the bleachers, admit defeat, swallow the ego, and just say, I'm going to live to fight another day. Yeah, that's a lesson that Bridgewater had to learn last year mm -hmm. in, in a big game. And yep. one of the things that has to get fixed on the Louisville side of things, Rick Patino says Terry Rozier has got to fix his grades during summer school. He's going to need summer school. Any student that's not eligible right now, I worry about. But um, am I overly concerned now? <laughs> I think you will get eligible. It's just, you know, you need summer school, and that's, those are the kind of things that, that give coaches gray hair. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. I, probably half the guys need some kind of summer school to get all the way finished. Just quickly, if he's not eligible to play, how bad does that hurt? It does hurt because you wouldn't have a backup point guard. All right, we'll see you back here next time on the Red and Blue Review. The Red and Blue Review has been brought to you by PNC Bank, Allstate Ford Truck Sales, and the Muhammad Ali Center. I want to be the president, a news anchor, a Division I basketball player, a writer, an investment banker, a zookeeper, a sergeant. I want to play field hockey in the Olympics. I want to go to Columbia University. I want to grow up and have a family. When I grow up, I just want to be alive.